Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. The S&P 500 was up one and a half percent today. I came back from vacation just in time for a green shirt day today, uh, which is kind of amazing, but a very unusual market today, obviously with Ukraine, uh, Russia situation really heating up overnight. Uh, we saw the market drop in the after hours trading. S&P 500 was down almost three percent at one point uh, and then opened up this morning more than two percent down and it just continued to come up all day and miraculously ended up, you know, in a green shirt day. We also saw just huge gains from a bunch of technology areas. Uh, Microsoft was up 5.1%, for example, semiconductor index that we use in our portfolio uh, was up 3.7%. So just kind of incredible altogether. So here's what happens that's kind of interesting here. First of all, a lot of times when we have these invasions and we have these wars, we get this very sharp sell off. And then often once it starts, you will actually see a jump. That seems to be part of what happened today. But really we saw a more concentrated jump in the technology arena and the growth type stock arena uh, than we did in the value area. And that's because interest rates are coming down and, and maybe more importantly, uh, there's some thought process now with Ukraine and Russia you know, going on that maybe the economies kind of slow down a little bit on their own. Uh, and the Federal Reserve won't have to do as many rate increases. And of course, that means that technology stocks do better in lower rate environments. And so we saw a big jump in that area uh, today. Uh, and, and really interesting that also today, the gross domestic product was uh, re-evaluated for the fourth quarter and they upped it to 7% from 5.7%. So, you know, the economy is really hot. And in my opinion, you know, the time to buy when there are downturns like we have here and the economy's up, you want to buy on these dips. And so today we did buy. Uh, today we did some rebalancing of the portfolios uh, and we ended up purchasing, uh, you know, semiconductor index. I talked about Apple, uh, the S&P 500, for example, the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index, uh, the ESG versions of the S&P 500 got purchased today also. And again, what happens in this, this is going to be in the IRA type accounts that you have that aren't taxable. Uh, I don't want to do these many transactions in these taxable accounts because it just creates too much taxation. So uh, in your IRA accounts, you might see different things and even it's the same type of account just because the software goes into every single portfolio and analyzes every position and determines whether it's within the boundaries or not. If it is, it leaves it alone. If it's out, it basically Basically, we'll sell that piece or buy that piece. The idea behind rebalancing is that you're selling, you know, what is high at that point uh, and buying what is low. Uh, and then obviously, if things do bounce around, you know, you come back, you'll end up with a, a decent rate of return off of that. I think that's the strategy. I spelled that out early in January uh, for this particular market. You know, we have a, uh, a lot of things that are going to create volatility uh, and we have a very strong economy. And so you're going to get these dips. And as long as that economy economy stays strong, you want to buy in those dips. And so one of the things that I use uh, to kind of figure out where to buy on those dips is two main indicators. Number one is a fear, a fear index called VIX, V-I-X. And so VIX is a uh, short-term put and call uh, measurement on the S&P 500. And in simple terms, when fear gets higher, uh, it's not a bad time to buy. And so when this index gets above 33, uh, that's when historically, it's been a good time to buy. Today, it was at 35 in the morning. So that was that got me started. And then the other thing I look at is just when it stretches too far down. Uh, and so, for example, I've always talked about this. If, if you've listened for the last couple of years, essentially, the market sometimes like a rubber band, you know, so it gets going really fast and kind of stretching in that rubber band, it'll come snapping back a bit. And this is just the opposite, where the market is kind of falling too fast, and now it's snapping back up. And there's a measurement called RSI. And when that gets below 30, uh, that's when I like to do rebalancings also in a, in a perfect situation. Uh, the last time we had this was late in January uh, when we did our last rebalance. That worked out quite well. Uh, it happened again today where both of those indexes were at the right place for me. And we did these rebalancings and we got, you know, we made money on the pieces that we bought today, which was good. So we'll see how that plays out. And we'll just keep doing this for the first part of this year, especially because I don't think these are going to take off. I think we're going to get this churning motion as far as that goes. Uh, we've got to deal with the Federal Reserve and what they end up doing. 
you know, hopefully now, uh, you know, they don't need to do a half a point rate increase in March because of what's happening in Russia, Ukraine. Uh, they can just do the quarter point. And again, I think the market will be, you know, better, better with that scenario. We'll see how this plays out. But lots of things to go. Obviously, this is a crazy year, tons of things happening with inflation, Ukraine, uh, the whole Federal Reserve thing, the midterm election, etc. So uh, a very interesting time frame. But I do like the strategy we have. I like the portfolio. I like the broad based. I like the little targets that we have I like the rebalancing so uh, I think things are going to going to work out for us this year uh, continuing with this process uh, as they have so far and so nonetheless what uh, is going to be happening tomorrow I will not be doing the talk money with Tom show but I am going to do a summary of the week uh, like I normally do at the beginning of the show uh, and uh, just push that out also so you can see what I think about what happened for the whole week but I look forward to talking to you then thank you very much <music>